In this video, I'll show you how to upload custom market assumptions to your subscription using AdvisorGo. To do this, you need to be the subscription owner or manager or have the market assumption setup role on your account. You will also need two spreadsheets in CSV format with the return data for your assumptions, the investment averages file and the correlation coefficient file. Both these files need to be formatted in a specific way for more details on formatting requirements, please contact Voin's support. Once you have the necessary files and permissions, log in to AdvisorGo and on the home page, click Configuration on the top menu, then click Custom Market Assumptions. This will show the Custom Market Assumptions screen with a list of the assumptions which have been uploaded in the past in this way. Please note that it won't show the software default assumptions or any assumptions uploaded via a white label. To add a new set of assumptions, click the plus button in the bottom right hand corner and give the assumptions a name. Note that this name is what will appear on the plan settings screen when you're looking at a client record. In the default assumptions for new clients drop down, Select whether or not you want these assumptions to be used for all new clients. If you select yes, then these assumptions will be used for any new clients added by all of the users in your subscription. If you select no, then the client records that you add will use the existing default, but these assumptions will be available to use for any client record on a client by client basis. I'm going to set this to no, test the assumptions, and then if I want them used as the default, I'll come back in and change it. But I want to test them before setting them as a default. The assumptions include yield dropdown, will tell the software whether the mean returns in your and averages file include the yield figures or not. So if you select yes, this will tell the software that the mean return includes the yield figure. If you select no, then it will tell the software that the yield figures are on top of the mean return. The next drop down is the assumptions type, and you have a choice of arithmetic or geometric. If you select geometric, that's all you need to do. But if you select arithmetic, then you get an additional drop down where you can select whether or not to approximate the geometric mean. For more information on arithmetic and geometric assumption types, please contact Voyant Support. Once you've completed all the drop downs, go to the Investment Averages File section and click Choose File. Locate your Investment Averages File, click on it, and then click Open. Then do the same for the Correlation Coefficient File. Done, click done. The new assumptions will appear in the list. You can click on them in the list to view a summary of the return data and compare that to the files which you uploaded. If you spot anything looks amiss, you can click update assumptions, edit the files in the background and then re-upload them. If you want to delete a set of assumptions, you can also do that here. Once the assumptions have been added, you can check how they appear in a client record. So you can either use an existing client or add a new one. And we usually recommend doing this in a test before using it with real live client data. So open a client, click plan settings, click market assumptions. You can then click change to check that the assumptions are showing. Click on them to select and click apply changes. You may get error messages here if you're changing from one set of assumptions to another. Usually you can click continue and there's no issues, but if you do get other errors, then contact Foint Support and we can help you work through them. You can then again review the data there and make sure everything's looking as it should.